My first kiss. Have I had a boyfriend? Did I grow up in a strict household? Hmm. Hey guys, it's your girl, Cloella Moldy here, back with another YouTube video. If you're new, hi, nice to meet you. And if you're back, hi, my friends. How are you going? Good? That's good. Good to hear. So today I'm filming something that I've never really filmed before because I've never really had the platform to, but thanks to you guys and just all the incredible support, I have, you know, been thriving at the moment on TikTok, which I'm so grateful for. It's not me being cookie, it's just me being very thankful and grateful. So thank you for... We hit 100k on Saturday and we're already on, let me see, 134k. So I'm so grateful. Thank you to all the people that believe in me, love me, love my creativity, love all the popcorn duets that I do and all the other videos. It means the world to me. I'm so thankful and grateful that you guys are creating a platform for me. And I'm just going to keep putting out more content for you, some more creative content for you. And it makes me so happy when you guys send me DMs. So keep sending me DMs on Instagram for singing tips, anything like that. I love talking to you guys. I wish I could give back. I can't yet, but hopefully I can one day. But yeah, thank you so much for all the follow and love on TikTok. So I've always wanted to film one of these videos, like since I was like 12 watching YouTube. And I was like, oh, Q&As, like they're so cool and fun and creative. And I really just want to do that. And I was like, all right, I think today's the day. Because as you guys know already, I, <laughs> first of all, I hit 1,000 on YouTube. <laughs> 1,000 subscribers. It doesn't sound like much, but to me, that is a massive deal because of the fact that I've been posting YouTube videos for literally three years now, constantly. And the fact that, I don't know, 1K is just a big milestone in my life. I've been wanting to hit it for ages. I've been screenshotting and screenshotting and screenshotting all the milestones. And then we're finally here and I'm so thankful. So thank you for 1K on YouTube. We hit it last night. There was a countdown and everything, insert video here. And it was really exciting. So thank you to all the people that were on my TikTok live and all the people that subscribed. All right, that's enough talking, but I'm going to be filming a Q&A today. You guys have a bunch of questions and you guys keep asking the same kind of questions on a lot of my singing videos. But before we go any further, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you're notified every single time i upload which is every wednesdays and sundays as you guys already know and without further ado let's jump into the questions so you guys asked me a bunch of questions on some of my tiktoks because i posted that i'm gonna film a q a blah 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 so let me just go through them what's my favorite song to sing like ever at the moment it's mind by yabba incredible voice her runs and trills are phenomenal and the emotion in that song is just like incredible so that's my favorite song to sing at the moment i'm gonna like do all these questions really quick because there's a lot of them my dream car is probably a tesla it's probably like really mainstream but like the fact that you don't have to drive and you just sit there and it drives for you like what could be better than that so that would be my dream car at the moment although for like the longest time it was a range rover but it's changed when did i start singing i kind of started singing when i was well, it's different because I started singing probably when I was four. I don't really know dates and I hate when people say I was singing before I was talking, but like that is so inaccurate and true because how is that possible? It's not. So I was probably really young, but I wrote my first song when I was six, which is really cute. I was waiting for the sun to shine through my window. Suddenly the rain has stopped. I, that'll never come out. Actually, it might one day, you never know, but it was like really innocent and cute, so yeah. What motivated you to sing? So my motivation to sing was my mom and dad, 100%, because my mom is a phenomenal singer, like incredibly good, like so good. And I was like, wow, this woman. And then obviously it just came from there. And my dad's super good at singing as well. And he plays all the instruments under the sun. He has an obsession with guitars. So like the musical background was already there. Uh, and my parents used to have a YouTube channel or they still have videos up but i'm not going to share them because they're really cringe and they know they are as well so yeah that was my motivation to start singing what's my favorite tiktoker probably i like avani because she's very creative and i don't know i don't really follow oh sab sabrina i love her pair of bees i don't know i love i love just scrolling through for you page i'm not really following anyone and i'm like obsessed although like no effects like super attractive you get the point. <laughs> Who's my favorite celebrity? Probably Billie Eilish, just because she's my age and she inspires me in the fact that she's my age. She writes incredible songs and 
yeah, the way she just goes about things and what she stands for, I can really relate to. Where in Australia have you not been to? I've never been to Western Australia, WA. My favorite song is Creation by Sabrina Claudio at the moment. She's just so good. I love her song. I love her vibe. It's so good. If you haven't listened to her, I highly recommend listening to her. How many pets do you have? I just have a dog. Well, have you ever sang at a concert? No, but my only concert I've ever been to is Billie Eilish at the start of this year. It was incredible. My first concert, best experience of my life. Would never take it back. Could relive it about a million times and not be sick of it. It was so cool. If you could travel, where would you go? I really want to go to New Zealand, Bali and Greece. They're like the three places and then America and everywhere else. But they're like my three hotspots I want to go to as soon as Corona's over and traveling is allowed. My favorite color is green and orange. Would you do gigs? Yeah, I have done a lot of gigs before. I've gotten a lot of experience under my belt. I like wineries and I like a little bar and yeah. And I also did a little um, gigs and gigs thing where I put on a small gathering at a hall. I hired a hall and I got like a bunch of local artists to sing, which was so cool. And I would definitely do it again because it was so much fun. And if you went to that, hi, thank you. <laughs> Addison or Charlie? Um, I think they're both very inspiring and they're both extremely strong women considering the amount of hate they get and I would just say they're even. Addison probably because of my age and Charlie just because she seems like the sweetest person like how could you not like her? What sport do you do most often and like the most? Um, Basketball. I used to play in a women's team with my friends. It was so much fun. Love that and that's really the sport I played the most because my sister used to do rep basketball and yeah, my dad and mom do basketball as well. We had a family team for a while there as well. I was your 1,000 subscriber on YouTube. Thank you, I love you. How did you get your name for yourself? I don't know, my parents just liked it. And yeah, I actually have no idea. I could ask, but mom's on a Zoom call for uni. Who's my favorite singer? Sabrina Claudio, Billie Eilish, Louis Capaldi. Um, let me look. There's like so many artists that I listen to that I actually don't know the name of. I, I just like can't stop playing their songs. Oh, Duty, she's really good. Um, there's a guy called Sleeping At Last. That's like his artist name. He's so good. I love like, I love soft, slow, instrumental music. It's so nice. It's just such a vibe. Ella Henderson, she's good as well. Um, I have a lot of... Oh, and Phineas O'Connell, which is Billie Eilish's brother. His music is incredible and his lyrics are just a bit different. How are you? I'm really good, thank you for asking. If you could change your name for the rest of your life, would you change it or would you? Would it be the same? Probably the same. I couldn't imagine myself having, having any other name. I don't know. Do I suit another name? Let me know below. When, I, when you sing, how do you feel? Hmm. I guess a bunch of different ways. Singing is just like... I don't know, I feel like it's such a deep question. It shouldn't be that deep, but it is. It, like, I've just... If you know me personally and, like, we hang out all the time, you know that, like, singing is literally talking for me because, like, I'm humming all the time, singing. Like, I'm that girl. I'm so annoying. Like, so irritating. But singing is just like that. And when I sing, I just feel like I'm really expressing how I feel. And also, like, if I'm going through an emotion, it, do it feels so much easier to sing about it than it does to talk about it. So... I don't know, that felt really deep, but yeah. I like how you sing. Um, yeah, I like how I sing, and I think at the moment I'm, my voice is at the best it's ever been, which is really cool to see my growth. Looking back on old videos is so funny. My favorite TV show was probably Vampire Diaries. I sobbed like every season. That was like so good. But also I loved Pretty Little Liars and Gossip Girl was good. Oh, and Outer Banks, loved that show. Oh, and um, Euphoria. Okay, sure, cool. So basically like, all of the mainstream white girl TV shows. Do you love your fans? Of course, I love you all. But I wouldn't call you my fans, I'd call you my best friends, yeah. Would you take your singing to international shows, auditions? I have auditioned for The Voice, my experience and stuff, I will link below. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> my favorite brand of clothing? I love online brands at the moment, so I'd say Boohoo, Sheen, and Glass Ons is really nice. How did you get good at riffs and runs? Listening to artists that do riffs and runs in every single song, like overdo them. So I listened to Beyonce for ages, a little bit of Mariah Carey, um, Adele, she was a good, she started me off. My first ever song where I was like doing the, there's a fire, fire. I'd like, when I was like 12, maybe younger, I have no idea. 
but I would do that trill over and over and over and over again. I even filmed a little video of myself singing that in like the bathroom with a fan on my face and my hair. I'm like, there's a, my mom filmed it. It was so cringe, but like, I was so proud of myself because I got the, hi. Anyways, that's where I started. And I just listened to artists that did it all the time. And then obviously my mom, she does riffs and runs all the time, so. We did that, we copied off each other in the car rides. We'd be like, copy the trill, copy the stuff I do. And then we'd do that, copy the run I do. We do that in car. So yeah, that's how I started. Do you classes for singing? No, I've actually never done, actually, no, that's a lie. I did do three, <laughs> I did do three days. No, I did four lessons of singing lessons for a, an audition I was doing for a musical. Um, with a really professional, really expensive singing coach. That was really fun. But apart from that, no, I've done like choir and stuff, but no. But I am a singing teacher myself and so is my mom. So my mom has definitely, you know, when I've auditioned for something or I need help on a song, she's always been there to help. So I guess you could classify that as yes, but yeah. Eh, yeah, I know. Why did you start TikTok? Um, I thought it was the cringiest thing in the whole world in the beginning. My friend Sam Hooper, shout out to you, was making them and getting views and like he said it was a lot like YouTube and I was like, oh, okay. So I did it and I, it, when it was like a big thing, I think it was like the start of last year, no, the end of last year, I filmed a TikTok with all my teachers in it and we taught them a dance and then I uploaded it and it got like 100,000 views or something. And I got like 600 followers and I was so happy. And then I just kept uploading, singing, dancing. Oh, there's so many old videos. I'm like, ew, why did you look like that? But yeah, I've literally talked so much. Why do you like doing what you do? I just feel like I'm being myself and I'm not anyone else when I do singing. I don't know, I'm just like, I've never wanted to change and I've used to like be spagged out so much for having like a YouTube channel, doing vlogs and stuff because everyone thought it was like really cringy. But like, I just never stopped. Like, I've just always never cared or given a damn what people think about me. Which is a good and bad thing. When I have people trying to give me positive criticism, I'm like, <laughs> stuff you. But uh, yeah, it's something, it, it's good in some ways and awful in other ways. Were you a theater kid? Yes, I was, still am a theater kid. Um, How did your mom start singing and did she inspire you? Yes, she did. And my mom started singing because of her mom and she's of a family of six and she's just sung ever since then. My first kiss. <laughs> my first kiss was like in year nine. 10. My first kiss was in year 10. I know. Cute. Who taught you how to sing? My mom. How did you blow up on TikTok? Um, the first video was with the teacher one and then the next video was a duet I did um, of Ocean Eyes and that's kind of where it all began I reckon. And then my first video to go viral was the impersonating singers TikTok which was so much fun to film. I did it in like five minutes. I didn't really plan for it. I was just singing and then I was like oh my gosh it'd be so funny if I impersonated all these people. So then I did that and then yeah it went viral which was so cool and I reached 10,000 followers and I was like in astonishment. Like I was so like blown away and like proud of myself. I'm like people like what? They I, me, we, us. My friends were so supportive and it was so cool, the countdown to like reaching 10K, or the count up, whatever you call it, to reaching 10K, it was so cool. My biggest inspiration is definitely my parents. What's my style of clothing? I'd say it's like, op shop, retro, slash, man. I look like a man half the time, yeah. Not a question, but thanks for everything you do. You have helped me with so much and helped me to be more positive. I'm so grateful and proud. Oh, bless, thank you. I look like Addison Ray. Jeez, people are telling me I look like Addison Ray. Compliments. What's my favorite style of singing? Definitely acoustic ballads, 100%. Where's my jacket from? It's from Boohoo. Does she reply to my fans? Yes. How long have you been singing for? Um, since I was, oh, I've probably been singing for 14 years now. How did you become an amazing singer? Just sang every single day and listened to so much music. That's just how you do it. Did I grow up in a strict household? Hmm. Have I had a boyfriend? No, I've never had a boyfriend before. Single, happily single. And I've never been on a date either. Ah! 
love my life. That was all of the questions. I did a bunch of talking just then. I'm sorry, there's probably a lot of information to take in, but thank you to all the people that asked questions. I love you guys. Thank you for all the support. I am so grateful and happy, and I've made friends with so many of you. I'm truly in love with all of you and appreciate the support so much. If you enjoyed this video and you felt like you got to know me more, make sure to give it a like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I upload every Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, thank you for all the support. Appreciate you all. Follow me on Instagram. My TikTok and Instagram is here. Yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Appreciate you. And I will see you guys in my video on Sunday. Bye everyone. Love you. Mwah.